Hello my beautiful besties, it's your girl Nelly. If you're part of my nail crew, welcome back. And if you're not, consider subscribing right now and become part of my amazing nail crew. In today's video, I'm going to unbox the subscription box from Your Nail Lab Box from McCart. And this is the March box. And I have to say, bestie, they are definitely working on the shipping issue. I received my box finally early in the month and it was very refreshing um it brought so many beautiful things i do have to say that i was a little disappointed with the fact that my box only brought acrylics um and so the purpose of this month or what whatever that we're trying to do for this month box was have a mystery item so you were originally gonna get two acrylics all the decals that I'm showing you in one additional mystery item so I thought that maybe I was lucky enough to get poly gel because you guys know I love poly gel but um, unfortunately that was not the case I will swatch the colors I do swatch one of the colors um on camera so i am just letting you know right now i know i suck bestie i know this look how gorgeous the stickers are by the way these are one of my favorite items in this box also the charms are gorgeous they are big but they are so beautiful and i do ended up using it for today's video so like i was saying um my acrylic application sucks <laughs> and it's okay i mean it's a learning experience for me um one of my nail sisters did suggest that i get a smaller brush um but i'm not gonna quit on acrylic just yet i'm trying to get over the the, the smell because that's a really big deal for me like the smell of the monomer is a huge deal so i'm trying to get over that because i really do want to learn but um so what i did for this video is since i know my acrylic application is not the best i am not ready to do acrylic sets just yet but um i did pull out some of the mccart poly gels that i have and um i just came up with a set um i normally like to use only the items that come in the box but because for me, it did not bring poly gel. I was not able to do that. I do promise you, bestie, that I'll keep trying my best and I will keep practicing. But it's hard. And I'm just going to let you watch the rest of the video. I am swatching the colors right now and soon I'll be swatching the acrylics. I do want to say that the pigments on this gel polishes are beautiful. They are nice, they're creamy, they're very pigmented and just one coat and you're good. So this is the acrylic application that I was talking about earlier. So okay, in my opinion, I don't, I am not very um, experienced with acrylic. With that being said. I am trying so I am working with drier beads but for some reason I find the acrylic um, even after laying it down and making sure that I don't have extra monomer on my brush that it's still runny so that's why one of my nail sisters did suggest that I get a smaller brush which I did purchase today. I should be getting that in the mail tomorrow and hopefully I'll get started to practicing more often with acrylic. Um, but if you take a closer look at my application right now, my beads are fairly dry, but for some reason they were still runny, bestie. I don't know. Um, if you have more experience with acrylics and you want to give me some advice i will definitely appreciate it because i need help <laughs> i need all the help i can get so 
So before I forget to say this, this box is a collaboration with Christina Couture and I love her channel. I've been subscribed to her channel since I started working with Polly Jo. She's one of my nail gurus and she doesn't even know it. Um, I learned a lot from her. I learned from Femi Beauty. I learned from Long Hair Pretty Nails. These ladies are my nail gurus. I did learn a lot from Lisette. Um, also, Lisette Gel Nails. She's amazing. Um, I learned a lot from Young Nails. So if you're looking for um, other YouTubers and you don't know about these channels, which I doubt it because they are very big YouTubers and they're absolutely amazing i love their work um so yeah this collaboration box is so beautiful like everything that came in the box i was just only a little disappointed with the fact that i didn't get poly gel and i know unfortunately that's going to be the case for a lot of people because the they started their boxes with poly gel so whoever subscribed to their boxes are familiar with poly gel and now all of a sudden yes mccart started with acrylics now but it's like um now it's like being shoved to my face too much like okay i get it you got acrylic i like it i'll get to that but i need my poly gel i need my poly gel bestie so that's why i had to do what i did so i did chose another uh poly gel that i used from mccart and i'm gonna make a glitter mix using different glitters that i have here i will try my best to um, link them in the description box and i apologize if i'm not able to um but that's what i'm doing right now so um i already removed the set but if I'm not mistaken, I think I did three glitter nails and then I did two full cover nails. So at this point, I had already done my uh, peel off method and bestie, it works beautifully. So if you're uh, the type of person who likes to practice and um, don't necessarily want your sets to last, mm -hmm. uh, let's say 10, 12 days, I haven't really tried. I just automatically removed them because I have to constantly create new videos for you guys, but they are nice and sturdy like i work in a pharmacy and i constantly use my nails so it works beautifully for me so what i use is the it's called star glue and it's foil glue it air dries so i do two coats of that then i go over that with the regular peel of base coat that i use i could use my card and there's another brand that i use as well but lately i've been using my card and then I place the tips with my regular base coat. I do everything else that you see me do. And the nails last bestie. They only come off when I pop them off my nails. So if you're looking into something like this and you have product on already on your natural nails like I do, definitely give it a try. I would never recommend 
you to do something if I had not tried it before. So trust me when I tell you it works beautifully. So for my index finger, I'm going to do a full cover with this poly gel. Now, I normally use 91% isopropyl alcohol. I don't know, Bestie, what possessed me to try it with base coat. It made it stickier, it made it runnier. I don't like it. So when I, I don't, I honestly don't know what I was thinking. Like I said, let me just try base coat this time. And there it is. It reminded me very quickly why I don't use base coat as slip solution. Um, another reason why I don't necessarily like using base coat as slip solution is because once you start working on your cuticle area, um, you can get some of that base gel on your skin and if you cure that that's how people start developing allergies and that's a no-no for me I don't want any allergies I don't want to develop any allergies and I definitely would not want you to do that because I don't want you developing any allergies if you like trying it or if you want to try it I mean by all means that's on you bestie but please be careful because that's how a lot of people start developing allergies. So I did start it and you can see here that I struggle a little bit with the application. And after I finish this nail, I, you're gonna see it because I changed my mind so quick. Like right now, <laughs> I quickly changed my mind. I said, nope. This is not working out for me. I'm definitely going to switch to alcohol. That's the best thing for me. So I like to use 91% and there's a recent bestie. So I've worked with many different brands. And I noticed that I used to use 70% or 50% because when COVID was, you know, really bad you really wasn't able to get your hands on alcohol even me working in a pharmacy we weren't even able to find alcohol to just keep in stock so that was the only thing i was able to find it was 50 percent or 70 percent isopropyl alcohol so i did notice that for some brands that percentage of alcohol used to stain my poly gel and even if I file that or try to file it off, it would not come off. So someone did suggest, oh, try 91%. I was able to get one and I purchased two bottles. I remember I was able to get them from Walmart. And I haven't had a problem since, Bestie. So that's the reason why I would recommend using 91% isopropyl alcohol I'm not gonna lie, Bestie, I did a really good job with mixing those glitters because take a look at these nails. Look how beautiful those glitters look. I mean, I'm in love, Bestie, I'm in love. So after I cure that into place, I'm going to brush the excess off and then I go in to do my ombre because that's what I'm going to do for those nails that have the glitters. So if you're having difficulty creating an ombre with poly gel, bestie, it's very simple. It requires practice. I'm not going to lie. It requires practice, but just like with everything else, you know, the more you practice, the easier it'll, the easier it will get for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to work with your bead you know you're going to make sure that your poly gel is placed 
properly around your cuticle area and when it's time to blend the trick for a good ombre with poly gel is you're going to use the tip of your brush only that's how you're going to blend the poly gel to the bottom of the tip or to the tip section uh, or the extension part of the nail so um I, once again all you're going to use is the tip of your brush if you use the body of the brush to do an ombre what you're going to do is you're going to pull too much product down you can always do that if that's the look you're trying to achieve because some people like to do you know a bigger section of that nude color me on the other hand i haven't really tried it i might try it in the future who knows but um right now i'm just trying to help you out achieve a ombre when using poly gel and it's very simple it's very easy just give it a try best just use the tip of your brush so after i finish the poly gel application and um cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds now i'm going in to encapsulate and bestie i enjoy encapsulating so much with hard gel it's crazy like right now sometimes i've used poly gels as clear and they don't look the same like once you try builder gel to encapsulate it would poly gel will not look the same it doesn't matter what brand or how clear they claim their poly gel to be it's not going to be as clear as hard gel so definitely give it a try and you'll know what i mean So bestie, I wanna give my shout outs and I'm going to start by giving a shout out to everyone who takes the time to watch my videos. Everyone who's new to my channel, welcome to my nail crew besties. And I wanna give a shout out to my nail sisters because they are freaking amazing. They're so supportive and they always have my back and they know I got their back. So hi beautiful. So anyways, um, now that I did all the shout outs, thank you so much. Like you guys are so amazing. I don't get tired of bragging about you because you are amazing. The, the comments on my last video, my last video up to this point was my birthday set. And you guys are so amazing. All the birthday wishes and I am just amazed with how much love you give me because it's a lot and I'm so grateful for you. I consider myself very blessed to have you, you know, as part of my nail crew and I just hope you guys enjoy the content on my channel. And now it's time for some bling besties. So this is one of the boxes that I purchased of Lisette's website. I will link that in the description. Bestie, her boxes are bomb. They are gorgeous. Like, take a look at these boxes. They are so freaking beautiful. And believe me, I will enjoy every rhinestone in these boxes because they're so beautiful. So this is the first time um, no, actually, this is my second time using um, her bling gel. Um, I had a good experience with it so far. Um, I haven't heard anyone complain about it. Definitely, Bestie, if you like what you see, give it a try. Because it's she sells some good products on her website from uh, hard gel to the the bling boxes she has a ton of stuff um she's currently i believe working on getting some color hard gels and i'm excited about that so i plan to work some more overtime 
so that when she launched the colors um, I'm able to buy them quick and um, just enjoy the application bestie because I know I am And here's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this set. Thank you so, so much, Bestie, for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.